Welcome back. This is Adwicta. It's Murps. Hydrated. Ready mm. to go. We are valuing cards for the Lightforge tier list. You are listening on the Lightforge podcast, or watching the Lightforge podcast, or watching us live on Twitch. And uh, we are deep into the night now. We are in our six and a half hours of streaming in. Um, things are a little fuzzy. We haven't eaten dinner. This is uh, this is our mental state right now. So if our analysis gets a little loopy, please forgive us. We're now on to Druid. Dru- Druid is, is good uh, normally, but it was really good in the last meta. You, you can tell this is the late analysis. When when <laughs> true it was good. It is it is still good. Um no, it's it's not still good now. It's it's less good now. Um because the win rates are low if you look at HS replay. And uh traditionally Druid win rates are a little lower than um than what good players can get out of it because it's all very fundamentals. So we'll see what happens there. But um yeah. You have anything to add about Druids? Wow, that was like the John Madden analysis for Hearthstone. It's like, oh, to win, you got to score more points than the other team. Uh, yes, that, that, that's, that's solid. That's some solid midnight analysis there. All right. Yeah, it's a real shame that Druid is this low. It just really shows the effect that the micro adjustments and uh, Blizzard can have. But if you are a uh, sort of hardcore druid loyalist you should be happy that druids are getting some pretty decent cards yep um commons commons are seen all over the place right we put a lot of stock in commons in this yes, analysis and definitely. we are starting off with a 205 rated common that yeah. is the best card in druid by far i'm gonna try to you look at what? other ones Have and to... see what the second best is i like like what's swipe swipe is 136 power of the wild is a 142 yeah, nothing else is even coming close to this. Drew to the Claws of 145. This is this is this is a 205. I remember when I saw this card, I sent it to you. I was like, wow, this is good. And you're like, eh, whatever. Yeah, Doesn't I'm like, it's like Drew it of the Claw. It's gonna be like 150. Fine. It's good apparently. Um this is Oasis Surger. Five mana three three rush. Choose one. Gain plus two plus two, which makes it a five five rush. Or summon a copy of this minion. Okay, so I don't know what I was like on when I was talking with you and thinking this was not going to be so much better than Druid of the Claw. Uh, but yes, I do think a 5-5 five, five rush is better than a 4-4 four, four charge. Generally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... So, yeah, um, you know. Druid of the Claw is already insane. This is more insane. Yeah, well, look, this can't go face, but the flexibility that it gives you, and both have rush. You mm-hmm. either take two 3-3 three, three rushes or a single 5-5 five, five rush. That's real good. That's just, that's just really, really good. Um, yeah, like, I'm looking at the chat right now. They're like, wait, just a 5-mana five 5-5 five, five rush is really good. And yes, that is true. That is true. And then you add an elemental, and then you add another option to it to split up the damage it and, ends up and being the insane. damage is still three three rush which means if you kill small things it'll still live whereas like just yeah. five mana six damage is pretty good like, yeah yeah it's a good card it's pretty flexible too at worst it's a five mana five five or a five mana three 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 like this is exactly what you want in the arena too, mm-hmm. right? Where it's minion based, uh, uh, sort of like you know, you either win or lose on the board. So, what's really good a mid sized minion that gives you all the options and pretty much everything that you could possibly want for five mana. So, that's why it's this high. Druid, which specializes in giving you choices, but sometimes two sort of vanilla or underwhelming choices. This gives you two premium choices, which I, I, I guess that's what we're doing now. Instead of giving you two normal vanilla choices, but because of the choice factor makes it a good card, the, the wizard just decided we're going to give you two really good choices. And then when combined, it's just a, like a game-breakingly good card. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. 
That's common. What bucket is it in? Please tell me it's in like the fifth bucket. Oh my god. I would all right, I'm going to the list. Dana. Dana. Oh, it is in the first bucket. Hey. Okay. Bottom of the first bucket. Okay. Probably. Still. But still. Still. Blizzard having still. some regular like I understand Blizzard not wanting to start any card out at the top of the first bucket because they want people to like play with it no matter how OP it is. So okay, so Blizzard recognizes this card as like just insane in the arena. Fine. Um it is insane. It's two oh five. This is like an insane score. We don't give two oh fives to like minions. That doesn't yeah, exist. It's it's usually spells and like weapons weapons easily get like high scores but like this is ridiculous. yeah because weapons are unfair <laughs> <laughs> yeah. weapons are just unfair in the arena it they, they just are anyways yeah all right well that's the unfair card now is the not unfair card that is also a removal it is bees super good 132 swipe is 136 so it's almost as good as a swipe three mana choose a minion summon four one one bees that attack it super flexible no overkill like Anything that you target, you just get one ones back. Add in some fancy schmancy synergies. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty good. Really, really good. Uh, bottom of second bucket. Okay. Okay. Mm. Still still a somewhat value pick there. Yeah, it's uh, a good pick there. I feel like it'll get moved up. There. Definitely, because I, I think people just like the flavor of the card yeah. as well. <laughs> it uh, made a pretty the, meme card on top of that. It, it's going to get picked. Yeah. The animation is pretty cool, too. So I can definitely see people picking this card. But uh, even if they move this to, like, top of second bucket, I'm like, yeah, sure, that's that's fair. That's totally fair. I for mean, it. Swipe so, is in the top of the first bucket for some weird reason. Yeah, I know. Um, and this sometimes uh, is better than Swipe. So mm. sometimes. Seriously, they really need to, for Druid, they really need to move Swipe down into the bottom of the first bucket where it belongs. Yep. All right. Um, and then there's another card, Worthy Expedition. Discover a choose one card. Uh, that is one mana, and that is 134. So same ridiculous power level as like a Bees, very close to a Swipe, like super good card. Why? Oh. Because Oasis yeah. Surger is a choose one card. <laughs> no, this is seriously. Like, if you're wondering why a one, you're like, wait, wait, wait. Why is this a 134? You can talk about the generalities in which, wait, choose one cards are really, really freaking good because they're all Druid cards and choose one cards are good. And you're really kind of discovering six effects. Mm -hmm. But specifically, you get offering bonuses to Oasis Searcher, <laughs> so you're going to get that. And because of the huge chance that you're getting Oasis Searcher, uh, where the expedition is a 134. Yeah. That makes sense. How many, totally how many choose ones are there? It's like Power of the Wild, Oasis Searcher, Druid, Druid of, of the, the Claw. Claw. You're going to get one of those at least. Um, Starfall, Mark okay, of the Loa, like you, you see where we're going with this, right? Like these yeah. are all ridiculously OP cards. Hidden Oasis, that's your like worst option. What else is there? Yep. Branching Paths, Ancient of War, Rath. Ancient of Lore is your worst uh, worst option. Yeah, you have Wrath. You have Wrath too. too on top of that. Rath, that's pretty Rath good. Wrath is like a whole roll. With <laughs> I only got Wrath. That sucks. <laughs> so yeah, Worthy Expedition, it's worthy. That's why it has such yeah. a high value. Like, it's not like Discover a Taunt or like whatever else that you may be thinking is with. And this is also a place where algorithms better than, yeah. uh, than I mean, I don't know. I think it's a not a hard analysis to do with or without the algorithm. <laughs> Okay, so druids get, like, in their commons, they get an insanely busted common in Oasis Surger. Then they get two top-of-the-line commons in Bees yeah. and Worthy Expedition. That's, so, this is going to be good. Here's the problem, right? They put Oasis Surger in the first bucket, and you're like, yay! But they put Worthy Expedition in the bottom of the third, top of the fourth bucket. Uh, is, it's kind of low, but... It's kind of low, but... Could be worse, I guess. Oh yeah, <laughs> could be. Okay. Uh, so 
we're still gonna basically we're still gonna deal with a lot of oasis searches like there's not yes. that many choose one cards no there isn't oh i didn't even look at the legendaries yet what are the legendary choose one cards oh war druid lodi is also in the pool oh crap scenarius <laughs> that's that's oh, in the pool no yeah all right i think we lowballed worthy expedition i don't know about that but okay sure <laughs> okay um now let's look at the rares so you know how in a lot of the other ones like we were talking about warlocks uh what was the other class that that had this mage where like their best cards are like rares and epics and whatever and their commons weren't that good uh druids kind of have slightly the opposite thing going on their rare cards are they're they're okay they're just not the same they're premium okay. level like yeah here's garden gnome 55 four mana two three battle cry you're holding a spell that costs five or more mana summon two 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 treons so it's an unplayable card unless you're holding a spell that's cost five or more yeah and then it becomes a <laughs> good card <laughs> yeah right not, not, it's like, not even an uh, yeah like you've gained hey, three more stats than you should right which is cool but it's not like a hyena alpha in which you gain you, four like, stats oh, you gain four stats it's like we're uh -huh. getting somewhere now yep all right <sighs> and then the other cards um are hidden oasis six mana choose one summon a six six ancient with taunt for six mana or restore 12 health so decent yeah it's generally not gonna want to restore 12 health but it's a good option to have but it's you a six, have six the con. option yeah yep it's a 119 we rated above a frozen crusher above a sunwalker like you want to take it yeah. um and then the actual rare card that's good like same premiumness level as bees and like worthy expedition overflow seven mana restore five health to all characters draw five cards so the better yeah. sprint just much better sprint <laughs> mm -hmm. um if you're drawing cards you want to heal like if you're drawing cards the game is going on anyway so you have an equal heal for you and the opponent you take that every time and you can manipulate the board such that you know you can kill uh trade into their opponents and then or, or like into their uh minions and then you cast this it's just really good really really good yep 133 and between overflow and uh what's coming back the uh branching paths which is uh coming back also you're getting some card draw in druid now um to to back up your nerf nourish and that's good because that was the dimension druids are kind of missing um mm -hmm. without ultimate infestation so overall i think it's a really good package for druid it's not busted like a warlock for example um or a hunter but it's a good solid package for a good solid class and it's going to continue to get low win rates until they buff it and then good players are going to do kind of ridiculous things because there's just so much optionality in this class now is that a word optionality yeah it's a fancy way of saying options so probably not a word <laughs> and if it is a word i'm probably misusing it but uh yeah you get a I'm lot of sure options it's not a word. i don't think it's a word okay cool English is tough, yo. Is it? <laughs> oh, we didn't even get to epic cards yet. Yeah. Um, let's talk about epics. We got a pretty, really good epic um, in Crystal Merchant. You're not going to see it much. It's an epic. But it's two mana, one four. So kind of almost on curve. If you have any unspent mana at the end of your turn, draw a card pretty disgusting so this is a 146 it's right there with primordial drake <laughs> um it's higher than living mana which as you guys know well i mean this is the opposite of living mana in which one is pure front-loaded tempo and this is like a lot of anti-temple card draw but... it's a three mana one four that draws you a card immediately yeah and like, then if it doesn't get removed it keeps drawing a card as long as you give it one mana right so it's real good it's like really good and i don't understand why it's like a one four i don't why can't it be a one three i don't get it why does it have to be a one four i don't understand a lot of card design <sighs> okay cool yeah 
Um, so that's really good. Um, then we have a not so good card. It's uh, we rated at eighty two. It's a new beset defender. It's a five mana three five taunt. So that's kind of one mana too high. Uh, and it costs zero if you cast a spell that costs five or more this turn. Yeah. So it's only going to come out on turn five or later. Uh, you have to cast the spell, so until you actually want to use the spell, you can't play it. And, you know, then you get a, you get a nice, uh, nice mana saving. You get a nice four mana saving later on for holding this card in your hand forever. That's pretty much it. That's the problem with it, right? <laughs> and it's later um, in the game, too. It's like, it's the same thing, right? Tempo later in the game is just not worth that much compared to tempo earlier in the game. Right. Like, this is why um, Faceless Rager was a pretty good card, but not an insane card. Because when you got, like, a 3-mana 5-7, five, five, um, that, that's really, really freaking good. And if you were able to get that on turn 3, or even on turn 4, that would be game-breakingly good, right? That's, like, a ridiculous card. But Faceless Rager was never a super premium, just because... It, came out much later same thing with this this to like an even lesser extent you're not um you have to do something way more specific yeah so. like you have some good five mana plus spells in in druid you know it's not like there's nothing here you got your living mana your starfall your starfire hidden oasis overflow possibly nourish it's kind of not so good anymore but uh force of nature like there's some stuff but they're not like your best cards outside of uh, Overflow. If Oasis Surger was a spell, mm. uh, oh, God. anyway, legendary. You get at least the Enlighten. At least the Enlighten is one thirty eight, so better than at least the Trailblazer, who is also coming back. Um, but um, yeah, uh, one thirty eight is pretty good. This is swipe levels five mana five five Battle Cry. Your deck has no duplicates. Duplicate your hand. That's just a really, really good battle cry. Yeah. Uh, so, five mana, five, five, drawing like four cards. Uh, yeah, maybe four. Yeah. Three, four cards. Maybe four. Three, it's like three and a half ish cards. Mm -hmm. uh, the score for a card like that would be absolutely insane. So that's why it's pretty high, but not like, you know. So it's where it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, normal Highlander policy, uh, penalty applies here, uh, which is why it's not, like, totally, like, bustedly high, which is that you have to make your deck worse because you can't take more, like, the same over, like, under-bucketed cards that Blizzard's going to show you. And uh, that is true whether you end up having this card in your, in your particular game or not. Like, you could not draw the card, and the penalty for the Highlander is still there. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, so that's Druid. I think we did a pretty thorough analysis. I think we did it as well. One All right. more class, one more class. Any shout-outs before, uh, before we go to the final class? Shout-out to uh, all the mods who are still here. Thank you guys for helping out. I appreciate it. We'll give more of a shout-out once we're done with all of this. Let's do that. All right, all right. Until until the next one, we're going to end with Warrior. You know, we tried to do this. I was like, no, a more alphabetical order. We're going to do it in a way that's fair by win rates. And Warrior's still at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, see you guys when we talk about Warrior. Until then, this mm -hmm. is Adwikta. This is Murps. See ya. Bye.